Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use local mod within Blender. You may want to use Blender to position the mod better to your liking, or add a mod to multiply that is not already an add-on hookup. For example, I'm going to be using this BR box here. As you can see, it is not an add-on hookup, so I'll be needing to use Blender to convert this. This tutorial is specifically for Blender 2.79 and for PMD usage within Blender. You cannot use any other version higher than 2.79 for usage with PMDs. With that being said, let's get on with the video. Once you have found a mod you would like to convert, if you do the exact same as an original local mod, except when you go to the console, you'll be looking to find where the SII is of the mod you want to convert. Once you have found this, take note of this and we'll be using this in a moment. Once you have noted down the SII location, if you want to follow that path into the mod you are converting, as you can see I have mine right here. If we open this up in our notepad program, it will give us a location to the PMD. If you could just notice for now, we'll be needing it later. In the description of this video, you will have a set of files to download for Blender. There will be two separate links. If you want to download the conversion tools first, this will come along with the plugins folder, then there will be another download link for a larger file which will include the base game files that we will need to use within Blender. Once you have downloaded these files, if you take your mod and put it in the convert to PIM folder, then drag and drop the folder on top of the converter PIX.exe. This will convert all the files into .pim files which you'll need to then later convert back to PMD. you notice that the command prompt window has now disappeared. This means the conversion has completed. You will notice there will be the exact same folder made with exp at the end of this. If you want to go inside and cut these folders and go back into our main files here. If you open up the convert to PMD and go inside the base folder and paste these files. Once the files are pasted here, if you run the convert cmd, once this is running this will convert all the files back to pmd and will be usable within Blender. Once the conversion is finished, you might have a message in the middle of your screen saying the conversion might have failed on a few files. That is fine, just press OK. Then if you want to go back and copy these plugins. We need to place these into the add-ons folder on Blender. I won't be going through how to install Blender since that is a simple enough process, but I will have a download link to the correct version in the description. Then if you just want to go to where you have Blender installed, so by default it's in Program Files, Blender, Blender again, 2.79, Scripts, then Add-ons, then paste them three folders into here. Once that is done, if you just want to open up Blender and click on File, User Preferences, and if you want to type SCS into the search bar at the top left, and click these three plugins here. So we're Blender to SCS, Converter Picks, and SCS Tools. Once all of these are ticked, if you just press Save User Sense. Now that we have the add-ons installed for Blender, we can click on File, Import, and go on to the PMD. We then need to locate the base 1.38 files for Eurotruck. Make sure you have these files downloaded. Then if you want to locate these files in Blender, I have mine saved as a bookmark, you will see these files inside of it. You then want to click on the bottom left here, Set as SCS Base Path. If you miss this step, it will not allow you to import any of the PMDs. You then want to go to Vehicle, Truck, click on the truck you want, click on Interior. Now for a European Interior for the left hand drive, you want to open up the model.pmd. For UK Interior, right hand drive, if you click the UK folder, then click model underscore UK. Once my interior is imported, I will be using the set glass piece for my slot. So I will need to import this by going to File, Import, PMD. Now we need to go back a few folders until I see the upgrade folder in Vehicle Truck. 
wanted an upgrade for that, I will go to Interior Set, find the truck I am currently using, and click on Set underscore Set underscore One, which is the dual window set. Once this is imported, I can open it up in the hierarchy. Holding Shift, I will be clicking the model and the slot I want to use, which will be slot one in this case. Once I select both of these, I can open up my model, go into default part, finding set underscore glass, holding shift still, click on set glass and click it again. After this I can hold control and press P, which will bring up a menu, the parent objects together. If I click on object, it will parent the two items selected. If then I click on the object window, scroll down to the bottom, I will click on apply parent transform, which will align the objects in the correct place in the truck. Once this is done, if you want to open up a second blender, we'll use this blender to import the mod. So we go to file, import, PMD. If you go to where you've downloaded the blender 2.79 files, go into the convert to PMD, and open up the RSRC folder. Once in here, if you want to set the SCS base path, and refer back to the note we made earlier in regards to where the PMD is located. So as you can see here, I need to follow this file path and open up this PMD. Once this PMD is open, if we open it up in the hierarchy, Open up the default part, holding shift and click on each one of the models to select them all. Hover over the middle of the screen, pressing Ctrl C to copy, it will tell you the top that it has copied the items. Or going back to the previous blender, pressing Ctrl V to paste the items in. Once the items are pasted in, hold shift, click on the slot 1 or whichever slot you used. Click it again so it's only the name that has been highlighted. Hold Ctrl and press P then click on the object. Once this is done, if we click on the apply parent transform, it will relocate the object to where it would be in game. Once we are here, we can use the tools at the bottom of our screen to position the item to where we would like. So if I just move the item to quickly down here, If you are wondering how I'm flying around like this, I hold shift and press F at the same time, which will put me in a free cam, and to get out of this I just click. This will help you navigate around Blender a lot easier. Once you have moved the item to where you would like, if you click on apply location and rotation, this will set the location of the files. Then I just need to hold Control and press C to copy the items again and move back to the previous blender. Once back in this blender, I will delete all the previous models and paste in the ones I have just copied from the other blender. Once here, I can hold shift, click on the default part and click it again so it's only the name that's highlighted. Press Ctrl and P at the same time and apply the parent to the object. If I go into the object menu, scroll down to the bottom and apply parent transform. This will set the item to the correct position while in game. I'm just going to rename this here to the BR box for DAF. This will be the name of the PMD when you export the mod. Once this is done, I can click on file, export, PMD. I will just be saving this in my desktop blender files here. Once I am here, I'm going to click on the PMG version at the bottom left and change it to 1.4. And above this in the export origin, you are going to type in your file path for the local mod. For example, I'm going to do slash home, local mods, beer box. Once this is done, I will click on export. 
Now that I've exported the item, if I go to that file location on my desktop, you see a slash home folder, whatever you decided to call the folder, and there is my mod folder. This is all the files I will need to put my mod into the game. When exporting in this method, I will not need to edit the PMD or the material mat files as they will already be pre-converted by Blender. Therefore, all I need to do is copy my mod folder, go to my documents, Eurotruck, click on my local mods folder and paste in the folder here. Back in game, I'm going to save a manual save to do the save editing part. I will then do the save editing portion. I won't be going over this in much detail, I will just be doing a quick overview since I have already did a tutorial on how to do this. So if I just quickly go to my mail control, write in the new add-on hookup code, increase the number by one and copy in the mail control. So here I will add it to my truck here. So if I just write in slot underscore name, increase the number by one from the one above, and I use slot 1 in Blender to create the mod. And I'll increase the number up here by 1. I will increase the number here as well by 1, as I'll do the same process. So slot underscore hookup, square brackets to square brackets, put in the colon, and I'll write in the brbox.addon hookup, and save this. Once back in game, I will load my manual save. As you'll see, your mod will now appear inside your truck in a position you told it to be added. If you have any issues, feel free to join my Discord server, which I'll have linked in the description of the video, and post in the help section and I'll try and get back to you with any issues you may be having and see if I can resolve them. If this video was helpful at all, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like and subscribing, that would greatly help out the channel. And with that being said, thanks for watching.